Ye, and I cannot stress this enough, Pa. Welcome back to another Focus Friday. My name is Charles Price, and we are gonna be going over today what is in my camera bag for 2020. Now, I do kind of have two camera bags, and I'll go over why I need both. Well, I don't need both, but I have both, just in case, you know, like I said, everything in moderation. So today we're starting off with this Low Pro bag, and it is the Adventura SH-122. Now this is a very good compact little bag, it only has a few pockets, and it only really has the necessary requirements for a camera bag. And I carry this one the most, I go on hikes, I go to places like Disney Universal, and of course after about, you know, six, seven hours, it really is going to kind of put a burden on you, only because you've been doing other stuff, walking, and doing all the other necessary things you do on hikes and at parks. So without further ado, we're going to open this up. And I do have the straps, but they are off right now, as you can see. Open up the whole way fully. And surprisingly, it is empty, or should I say non-surprisingly, unsurprisingly. And the reason why this is, is because I'm recording with my GH5 right now. However, I do have my 25 millimeter lens in here. And it kind of fits snug, especially when you have the lenses off. You can carry about two small lenses with this on top of your camera. This isn't really for big DSLR cameras. It is for, in fact, micro four thirds. Whether they actually designed that for it or not, I don't know, <laughs> but I know it fits my micro four thirds systems in it. So looking in here, we do have a place to hold your memory cards. And that's one of the first things that's in my camera bag. And this one is only 16 gigabytes. I do have a 32 in here, and I do have a 120 in my GH5. So, nice little, nice little pocket. The other bag does also have this nice little pocket in it. So now we're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna show it up on the screen. It is a lens cleaning kit, also used for the LED screen on the back of the cameras. Now it is a, it, you know, you gotta have one in case your screen gets dirty, in case your lenses get dirty. So, other than that, that's actually pretty much it. When you open up the front of the bag here, you have to unhook it. And in here, we do have a battery. Now, I do actually have more than one battery. It is, one's in the camera, one's on charge, and this one is in the bag for, you know, show purposes zip it all back up and that's it that's the low pro bag uh that's the aventura 122 and i mean that's about it it's about as simple as you can get and i think that's what makes it a very good shoulder harness bag you have some pockets here at the side carry some stuff So, now we will move on to my second bag. And so, this second bag is the Low Pro Tahoe. I'm trying to center it. It's kind of hard because I'm looking at my phone, not at the camera. So, with this Low Pro bag, I like I said, I do not have too much equipment. I do have the basics and the necessaries. So this camera bag is not really used too much. I do use my other bag. So what we'll do is we'll open it. I do not have too much in here. It's just a Tahoe BP-150. And now to actually open the bag. Well, first we do have the kind of side pockets. You can put, you know, water in it. You could put maybe another big lens in it. These pockets are, you know, very useful. I've, I've used it for water before. Now to open it, you do have the side hooks. I'm trying to figure out where the zippers are. So now to open it, we do have some stuff. So first and foremost, I do carry my G7 in it. And this is another thing that's in my camera bag pretty much always. The G7 has always been a reliable camera for me, except for that autofocus. That seems to be an issue among some of the Panasonic cameras. However, 
I do like the GH5. The GH5 has kind of been, uh, the firmware updates have been very helpful to the autofocus and I think it's in a really good spot to call it fixed. So moving on, if we go into this bag right here, in my camera bag, I do have a Rode microphone. So, uh, you'll have to excuse me that the the waylight just died. First time it's ever died on me. So, but we, we chug on. And now we have in this pocket to, to um, I, I use these in conjunction. I use the Rode microphone to plug into this Sony recording. Um, geez, I don't actually know what this is called. I've had this since college and you would think that I would actually know what it is, but I don't. I just know that you plug the Rode microphone into this red thing, this little red uh, jack, and it helps get really clear audio. Now, I use this in the studio. When I'm recording stuff right here, I am using this a lot. Uh, I have it plugged into the Rode microphone, and that gives me a really clear audio. I'm not in too big of a room. However, it's just weird how it echoes, and when I, plug it into the GH5, it sounds like I'm in a cathedral, <laughs> but when I plug the Rode microphone into the Sony, this gives me just crispy, clear audio. Other things that I have in the bag that are of no consequence, really, it is, I have some of the uh, lens caps, not lens caps, but the, uh, they block flare, they block flare. This is for my 25 millimeter one. This other one is for my 14 to 42, which I'm using right now. And always you have to have a battery charger. I only have one battery for the Lumix G7. I have three batteries for the Lumix um, DMC GH5. That's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. So other than that, um, that's it. That's really just it. I know, it's surprising. I Like I said, I only have the basic necessities in this bag. It is just the right size right now, especially looking at some of the other lens things that I want, camera things that I want. And I know this wasn't too, too uh, informational. It didn't contain too much information, but I mean, it does what it needs to do. These two bags, they just do what they need to do. And they're very good at doing the basic necessities. And I do, uh, suggest that if you're looking for something that's lightweight that doesn't really cause too much um, Burden on you while you're walking out in hikes. I do suggest getting these low pro bags So I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all learned something from it If you do end up purchasing a low pro bag because of me, uh, well good <laughs> So I hope you all like subscribe click the notification button if you are not already notified of my videos and uh, ye and I cannot stress this enough. Ha, huh. thank you guys for watching.